And we are continuing our coverage. The big news from OU. We are hearing now response and reaction after assistant football coach Kale Gundy resigned this past Sunday. A little background too, if, if you haven't been on top of everything going on, on what happened or what we know happened. Apparently coach Gundy had taken one of the players iPads and read off of the player's iPad and in the process ended up reading what the coach called, uh, Coach Venables called, quote, racially charged words uh, and so that's something that we've been following today All right today we're hearing from coach Finnells for the first time he put out a statement saying that he accepted the resignation Sunday heard from him in a press conference for the first time today we want to bring in News 9 Blitz contributor Dusty Dvorak for your thoughts on it Dusty as you heard from coach Venables what did you think uh, yeah you know obviously he's moving on right he didn't want to talk about it he said that everything that he has wanted to say and release in those statements has been said uh, and really it just seems like he wants to move forward and I think that that's what he has to do uh, you know he's got to get this football team ready for a big season and his first season as the head football coach in one of the premier programs in all of college football the, this has been an unbelievably difficult situation for everybody everybody current players that entire staff former players the fan base this has been tough very tough very difficult to deal with and I think right now as the head football coach trying to lead these players these young men and trying to lead this program in the right direction you can't continue to look back you've got to look forward and I thought that was the real message today from coach Venables he's excited about LaDamian Washington he's excited about Matt Wells and Nick Basquin that's going to help in that wide receiver room and I think more than anything he just wants there to be a level of focus on this season with his players and as much as difficult as the task is try to put that incident that happened behind them as quickly as possible. Dusty, we have heard from several players um, since this all happened, some of his former players, about their thoughts on Kale Gundy. Now, did you play under Coach Gundy as well when you were at OU? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I played defense, sure. uh, Amanda, so, you know, he's an offensive coach. He was a running backs coach, but we're all family. Uh, you know, I, Coach Venables is my defensive coordinator, and Coach Gundy has been, uh, you know, uh, I've known him for 21 years, and I can call him a very good friend and a man that I love and care deeply about and um, you know was was with him here recently right before the start of the season and uh, I can just I have nothing but the utmost respect uh, for coach Gundy and I think we all saw uh, the outpouring of players and what they had to say and how many lives he's impacted people he's touched and uh, you know really created uh, so much so many great things in so many young people's lives and uh, you know obviously uh, I have a heavy heart and I'm thinking about him and I'm thinking about his family they're really going through a tough time so no I, I did not necessarily play in his position room uh, but he was a coach uh, whenever I was there I saw firsthand what he's capable of as a recruiter uh, as a teacher uh, and then just at, you know as a, as a friend uh, and that's what he's become and uh, you know the one thing that I can say uh, and, and I think any former player would tell you this there's not a single coach that has come through that building in the last 23 years uh, that has a better closer relationship with the former players than Kale Gundy. He's been the linchpin to bring back former players and keep them continually coming back into those into those hallways and into that uh, building. And you know, he means a lot to a lot of people, uh, not just the guys that were in his position room, but a lot of the guys that that played there at that university and were touched and impacted by Kale Gundy. And Coach Venables mentioned in that press conference Murphy's Law. Anything can go wrong, it will. And certainly a few weeks away from the start of the season, a first game. This seems like something that's a big challenge to overcome. Dusty, thank you for your thoughts. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys.